Yo, I'm Sick Fish Texan, and thanks for clicking on my video. Here are some free games for your beautiful face to enjoy this week. If you want to stay up to date on free games, then remember to smash the subscribe button before you leave. Let's get the bad flavor down first with Torchlight Infinite, that's free to play over on Steam. Torchlight Infinite is a true loot based ARPG. You get to build your very own hero and pick between endless skills and ultimates with the same amount of flexibility as the latest and greatest yoga Instagrammer. You know, the one with the horizontal booty. Before you run over and start flexing, you need to be warned. It seems Torchlight Infinite has some of the most unethical pay to win exploitation in gaming that we've seen in a while. If Saddam Hussein was a game developer, he would be clapping in his grave. Everything, and I mean everything, can be purchased for real money and they're not holding back. In reality, the main weapon here you'll be bitch slapping other players with is your wallet. Now for some, that's okay, and for you, have fun bitch slapping poor people, I guess. If you want to see how you can be more exploitive than Diablo Immoral, then go over to Steam and have a look at Torchlight Infinite. The Sims 4 is free to play on the Epic Store, if you didn't know that already, and now you can get the Daring Lifestyle Bundle if you wanna spice things up. Yay, I guess. Keep in mind, if you want the full game like everything that is The Sims 4, then it'll be around $900 for the 59 different DLCs. Well, 58 with this one. And to be honest, I just have one thing to say. No thank you, EA. The problem is, it's a nice game. You can live out your fantasies like having a reliable income, a house, a family, nice furniture, a swimming pool, and even a social life. Unfortunately, I have to end the review here. EA, please send money to unlock the rest of the review. You can also purchase my DLC positive review package at a discount to unlock favorable reviews for two weeks. I look forward to your big daddy money. Next is a game that's only free to play for a limited time. As in, you gotta pause this video and head on over there if you wanna get some enjoyment. A game for the big brain strategy boys out there, Crusader Kings 3 is free to play for the next few days. This game is great, and I'll tell you why. Well, because it'll bring out the absolute worst person in you, I promise. I set out to be a wise, noble and just ruler, and god knows I tried, but it really isn't easy. The world in Crusader Kings 3 is dirty, lying and a vengeful place, just like where I work. Well, anyway, being nice is not gonna cut it. You'll learn that quickly. I lied, fornicated, blackmailed and murdered my way to power. And the scary thing is, I actually enjoyed it. Once I was in power, I did everything I could to keep it. Selling your daughters like brood mares to foster the family line? Actually, uh, highly recommended. Sending your male children on death missions to remove them from succession? Necessary, unfortunately. Arbitrarily imprisoning a rival for the sole purpose of I want to see if I can? And I could go on and on. You might be thinking, how did it work out for me at the end? Well, I am the undisputed, sanctified emperor over most of the known world. And the world is at peace actually for once. So win-win, I guess. Go give it a go over on Steam if you're not watching this video too late and let me know how evil you get. Next up we have Hotshot Racing, which is a blistering fast paced arcade style racing game fusing drift handling, razor sharp retro visuals and an incredible sense of speed to create an exhilarating driving experience. Well at least according to the developer. In my opinion, Hotshot Racing is an arcade style racing game that honestly doesn't have much to offer. Just like my mother-in-law, who hopefully doesn't watch gaming videos on YouTube. Well, if she does, I'll let you guys know next uh, Sunday. Okay, back to the game. So despite the control simulating the feel of an arcade racing game accurately, and the art style fitting the genre fairly well, there are some odd design choices here and there that should have been revamped or at least looked into, before this bad boy was sent into the wild. I mean, considering it's free, it's not that bad of a pickup to kill an hour or two here and there. It's free on Fanatical for the next few days if you want to pick it up. You just have to give them your email, so get ready to be bombarded with annoying marketing emails for just around three generations. We're staying in the genre with Dead Pedal, which is a third person action open world driving game set in a fictional version of the Mojave Desert. 
where your goal is to cause as much chaos and destruction as humanly possible. There was also something about you seeking revenge for a fallen friend or something like that, but I stopped reading at Chaos and Destruction. That pedal is a student project, and for that I give it a 10 out of 10. It's both amazing and well done. But our homie here is recommending an RTX 2080 to run a game that should be able to run on my grandmother's toaster. I mean, our homie is requesting nuclear levels of power here. I mean, we're talking Jedi survival level graphics card here. Anyway, a few bucks here and there, and it sent my 2060 fan speed to just about 99%. But other than that, a uh, 10 out of 10. Last but not least, we have Rag Brawl. Compete as a fluffy, tuffling toy with up to 12 players online and show them the stuff that you're made of. It's a pretty chaotic shit show. Rag Brawl has you grappling, ragdolling, and battling your way to victory. You compete as a fluffy, tuffling toy by taking on a variety of objectives and challenges. It delivers some fun and quirky moments. The execution is pretty good with a variety of game modes, some better than others. But for a free game, it's actually not too bad. It's just come out, so please go easy on it. It's currently sitting in with 25 reviews, sending it to the positive tier. So I guess it's a fairly good start. And that's pretty much all I have for you in this one. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't. Like, why not? Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.